Okay, in this part of the tutorial, um, I will be showing how to um, use the HTTP archive the Gradio script. Um, in order to do uh, the, the archive, it's simple enough. Uh, I've used it, um, I'm using Chrome here, and it's perhaps the same with other browsers, but this is what I've used so far. Um, so I know basically you need the developer tools. Um, so you can right click in the, in the page somewhere to an inspect element. And what you want is the network section. Let's clear this for a moment. So um, basically, it's as long as the recording is on, all you have to do is refresh the button, or refresh the page, sorry. And once that's done and there's no more resources, you do right click and um, save as HAR with content. Um, just save the documents. Already have one there. What you can also do is you could then carry on using uh, the site or using your your service, and as long as you have the reserve log button on, let's just do that. Uh, let's go home and click the first article. It will carry on recording all of your user journey. For example, if you say uh, your plan is to do go on the home page, then select a product and add it to basket, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You should be able to record this all in a single HAR file. Okay, so we recorded that. So now what we need to do is we jump back in, a, um, in the binary folder and open the. Um, where are we now? We open the recorder again, but this time instead of using the HTTP proxy, uh, we use the HAR or HTTP archive mode instead. So just make that a bit bigger. So it's a select option here, HR or HAR converter. And let's find our file in the documents. Um, documents. There you go. And then, yeah, so the, otherwise the document is exactly the same. You click the, the or the, the GUI is exactly the same. You need to still press the uh, start button. Actually, before we do that, so you will probably overwrite the existing file. So let's rename. The recorded simulation, so recorded simulation to record a simulation dash. Um, actually, no, let's call it a recorder and let's change the, the, the class name as well. So no conflicts, not the best, the best name, but it will do the job. Uh, and now we'll jump back in here and click start here and should record, it's essentially should create one from the HAR file uh, called recorder simulation. So. Okay, successfully converted HAR file into Gatling simulation. Click OK. Um, right, and if we now jump back, see the files, there should be two files now here. Right, this is the, the renamed um, file from the previous recording, and this is our HAR file-based one. So let's, let's 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 see how that looks like. Mm, I mean, essentially, sorry about that. Um, essentially, it looks very similar. Um, let's just go down a bit. He renames or he names the get request similarly to request underscore one etc. So lots of headers defined here. Um, so quite a bit of cleanup here as well. So request request underscore zero. It starts, seems like it's missing the the one. So it's not exactly the same, but essentially. The script itself looks very similar. So if we call it end again, it use one user only. And if we run this one, excuse me, oh, we should be able to first of all close the recorder. If I go back to the binaries again, <coughs> excuse me, and do Gatling SH, we should now have the Gatling, um, the both recorder based and the half hour based simulation classes available to us. Yes, 
yeah, the 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 initial uh, the init of the, the the Gatling tool can get sometimes take a while because it has to compile all the Scala classes into a Java classes essentially. Right, so here is the renamed one with, with, which we use the recorder for, and this is the new one that we just created from the half file. So let's use the new one. And again, um, you can just use defaults by entering these ones. And um, okay, it's kicking off the test. Okay, similarly, you got a bunch of um, warnings. And right, okay, and we got a report file. So let's compare the two. This is the uh, original. Should should be the same or similar. Um, um, we got thirty nine requests instead of seventy uh, thirty nine successful and seventy six unsuccessful requests. So it's not exactly the same, but similarly, you can see the the naming of the the request is a bit funny um, and. Um, yeah. It looks like that we probably know how far we had already uh, some request perhaps uh, we might have some hang up from the previous uh, load maybe the pings that we saw we saw in the, in the request log already happening before I refresh the page so it did those perhaps and that's why it looks like the, 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 the requests are here in the middle. Um, but irrespective of that, essentially it's the same thing.